Hey, what's up you guys? So this video is going to be covering cancel advantage, um, both on hit and on block. So hopefully the previous videos, I know it's been a bit of a jump, <laughs> like a delay between them, but I hope that the previous stuff made enough sense. Um, this video is really just to kind of just break it down even more. Um, and again, I'm using MK just because you have like the, the on-screen information right there. So it should be fairly easy to follow. Um, so, so that's really just like the main purpose. Like I, I would, I would um, preferably use something like Injustice 2, just because there's a lot more situations that you can create. But the problem is that you basically have to test everything in Injustice. Um, that's kind of like the only downside of the game is that it doesn't actually like the in-game frame data. One, it's not completely accurate, and two, it doesn't actually show what the values are, no matter what it is that you do. You basically just have to test everything on your own, and then you know just go from there. Whereas with this, you have all the information right there available to you. Um, so with cancel advantage, um, the simplest way to think about it, just because it does, this is one of those things that does vary from game to game. Things are called specials, meaning that they don't behave like your ordinary strings or your ordinary attacks that your character can do. So all the previous stuff that I mentioned, like, you know, startup, active frames, recovery, block advantage or disadvantage, hit advantage, all that stuff, or even cancel advantage also, this is included. All those components of frame data, it applies to basically any attack, any move that you do. It doesn't really matter whether it's a normal, a string, a special, it doesn't really make a difference. It just applies to all of them. But the difference is, is that usually like normals and strings themselves, they're only tied to like the one thing that they can do like they're only coded into that one singular thing that they can do so like for Scarlet, for example like her quick prick or her standing one you can only do several things out of that you can either do the string on its own or the, the normal on its own you can do one two or you can do one two four those are basically the only things that you can do out of that and these are things that are just called normals or strings they just behave that way so as you can see, you see one, two, four, right? I can't do one, two, three, you know, nothing comes out of that just because it's not coded. It's not a part of the character's d base design. Like that's just not a thing that they can do. And this applies to everybody, you know? So that's more or less just like the nature of normals. That's just how they work. And if you wanted to do something else or like her two, one, two, but I guess that's a better example. Her two, one also is kind of the same thing. You can either do two, one or two, one, two, or you can do just two on its own, right? You get a two, two, one, or two, one, two. Those are the only things that you can do out of that. You cannot do two, one, four. As you can see, nothing will come out. You know, like her standing four, you know, that's a kick. You, you can't melt this in, right? You would have to wait for this to be done before you do something else. Or if you do two, one, two, you have to wait till that's done before you can do something else. And that's just the nature of like normals and strings. Right? That's just how they work. You have to wait for the sequence to finish, and then you can go into doing something else. The thing with specials, you can sort of think of specials being special, you know, <laughs> um, like unique, is that you can basically insert them into just about anything that allows you to insert it. So the, the simplest way to really break it down is really just things that can be canceled. And this is where the terminology is going to get a little tricky, but you know, I'll explain it a little bit better. Um, Things that can be canceled. Basically what that means are things that can meld into a special, things that can have a special inserted into them. So what I mean by that is something like her one, two, for example. You saw before it's either one, right? One, one, two, or one, two, four, right? That's the only thing that she can do. Using a special, like her tongue, for example, you can insert that into here. Now she can do the tongue right in there. She can insert that there. Or after one, two, four, she can insert the tongue afterwards as well. Or after standing one, she can insert the tongue after that. Or with standing two, she can insert the tongue. Or her bloodshot, that's another special, right? After two, one, she can do the bloodshot. After two, one, she can do blood puddle, right? And the reason why she can do all of that is because these are all specials, right? And the, the key thing is, what I was trying to explain before, if something is special cancelable, it, the difference is with something like 212. 212, while it does pop them up, again, don't don't really pay attention to what the properties of the moves themselves are, like what they necessarily do. It's more so just understanding the nature of these attacks, right? The thing with 212 is that it is not special cancelable, as you can see. I'm trying to go into the tongue, but the thing is this move does not have any cancel advantage. So I cannot do that. I cannot go into a cancel. 
Same thing with like her, her sweep, for example, or her back four. It doesn't matter how hard you mash, if something does not have the, if it doesn't have the property to be special cancelable, meaning you cannot go into a special afterwards, you simply cannot do so. You would have to wait for the attack to finish and then you have to go into the next attack, right? Into the next thing that you want to do. So that's really just like the whole basis and the foundation between the difference between like normals and specials. Like normals and strings are basically the same exact thing. Um, I mean, they're not, they obviously fall into different categories, but basically normals are just literal basic attacks. Strings are a sequence of basic attacks, whereas specials is just something else entirely. Like everything still has, again, everything still has like the same type of frame data. Everything still has its own startup, frame of impact, active frames, recovery, etc., etc. But they just have different key properties. One being basic attacks or normals and the other one being specials. So the reason why I'm breaking that down is just that for you to understand how to basically incorporate all this stuff like into your play or knowing how to use it or knowing how to fight against it, a lot of it comes to the understanding of this itself, you know? So like one of the key things that most people will do or the, the main thing that you always go for when it comes to special canceling on hit is usually because that's how you get combos going. Um, so like Scarlet, for example, again, this varies from character to character. It's, it's not gonna, there's no real rule of thumb per se, because again, some characters, let's say they don't launch off of anything that they do. But their specials give them like a lot of you know hit advantage when you hit them. Um, I'm trying to think specifically what might be a good example. This is just for, to to explain this some like a little bit further. See like Sindel. See this is kind of like a combo extender for her to charge it up, and then she can keep on going from there into doing her combo. But it's not necessarily popping them up, as you can see. And that's really just what I'm trying to get at. It, don't really think of any rule of thumb. It's like, oh, you know, it's like you want the cancel advantage on hit to be X amount just because it's going to give you a combo. In, in a lot of cases, yes. But it, again, this whole, it just varies on different characters, different archetypes, you know, different play styles. It, it all depends. But the key thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes to cancel advantage on hit. So as you can see, I do standing one. If you see the little box below, cancel advantage is 17. A disclaimer with cancel advantage, it is always going to be a positive number or it's going to be zero. Cancel advantage will never be negative. Whether or not that actually plays a part into anything, again, that, that depends on the character, that depends on the special, that depends on the tools. But the thing is, characters, whenever they do a special cancel, there is a brief moment where they always are going to be plus or neutral. So that's why it's important to really understand how this actually works, you know, and how it all ties into each other. So as you saw that move, cancel advantage is plus 17 on hit, right? Because, oh, I guess another disclaimer, cancel advantage is going to be different between on hit and on block. Very, very rarely is it ever going to be the same number for both. Um, because usually, not always, but usually it's always going to be, well not always, <laughs> but it's usually going to be different values for each one. So as you can see, cancel advantage is plus 17. What that means is that if I wanted to do any special after this, like if I wanted to cancel into a special, if I wanted to connect for a combo, when I mention combo, I'm not necessarily mentioning it like, you know, like a whole big juggle sequence or anything like that. It's more so a combo where the hits, they're going to connect. As you can see, if I do these two things, they connect because a combo counter reads them as two hits altogether, right? Or like if I do this, it counts it as all three hits, right? Because they all come in sequence together, they all connect. Whereas if I do something like this, as you can see, the combo counter isn't counting anything. Because even though these two hits, they're technically coming from the character, they don't connect into each other. Because of the frame data itself, it doesn't allow it. Um, to sh show this very quickly, as you can see, she can still block afterwards, right? Whereas if I do this, it all connects, that's why it's a combo, whereas this is not. Or that is not as well. Um, so if you want things to connect as a combo, it has to fall within that plus window. So this is very much similar to like jailing and frame traps, except you're incorporating specials into this. So if you understand like that understanding of how jailing and frame traps work, then this should be fairly simple to follow. 
Um, and if it doesn't, then hopefully this will make it make more a, a lot more sense in, in regards to special cancels and then also why it makes sense when it comes to jailing and frame traps. So with this itself, cancel advantage is plus 17. What that means is that if you were to do a special cancel for it to count as a combo, it has to fall within that 17 frame window. You basically had to jail into a special for it to count as a combo. If it frame traps, like let's say you see how cancel advantage is plus 17, the startup of this is 21, right? If you take that difference, 21 minus 17, that is a four frame gap. So if I do this, yeah, there's a four frame gap. She can still block, but then she can't really contest an attack afterwards, right? So that's that's just how its own thing. It's essentially like a frame trap type of scenario. But if you want it to count as a combo, it's gonna have to fall within that 17 frame window. I don't think Scarlet actually has anything that falls within that. How fast is this? Yeah, she doesn't. So off of this string itself, oh, her, her super or her fatal, well, because her fatal's, I think, 13 frames. But basically with this, what that means is that off of this attack alone, she basically can't cancel into any special for it to count as a combo. She still can go into a special cancel, but if she wants it to count as a combo, it simply won't work. Just because she doesn't have anything that's 17 frames or faster in terms of a special. Whereas with this, her 1-2, as you can see, cancel advantage is 23. Meaning that if you jail anything within that plus 23 window, it will count as a combo. So like this, for example, see, startup is 21. That will count as a, as a special cancel. The tricky thing with this though, I'm not really sure what the properties of this is. Oh, see look. This is just one quick thing, just because this will probably throw you off a little bit later on. On its own, you see the tongue startup is 20, 26, right? That's what it says, 26 frames, that's the startup of the tongue. But if you special cancel into it, I think only on hit, then it changes to 21. So that's why this works. See, because cancel advantage is plus 23, Normally, yeah, the tongue wouldn't work because, oh, look, it's 26. It's a lot slower. It shouldn't work. Yes. But the thing is, with this particular move, when it does register on hit, like within an on hit combo, it changes the, the startup of it. So now it's 21. 21 falls within the 23, and that's where it connects. And more or less plain and simply, that's really just how cancel advantage on hit works. That's, the, that's quite literally just as cut and dry as it is. If you want it to count as a combo, it has to fall within that number. Doesn't matter whether it's exactly that number, it's a frame faster, it's 5 frames faster, it's 20 frames faster, it doesn't matter. If it falls within that cancel advantage window, then it will count as a combo, plain and simply. That's just how it works. And that's how cancel advantage on hit works. That's more or less just all that there is to it when it comes to that.